Hello, I'm Freda Black, and I'm a Chazan for Human Rights. I'd like to tell you why. I was born into a very secular Jewish family, very assimilated, and in fact, I wasn't very identified as a Jew, although I learned a lot from grandparents and great aunts and uncles about the social movements that they were involved in when they came to this country. It was when I was in college that I really had an awakening to human rights issues. I became very involved with issues of Native American rights during the Big Mountain Removal Project where the Navajo Indians were being driven from Big Mountain by the United States government. Through my college years and for about two decades thereafter, I searched for a spiritual home among just about everything but Judaism. And what I learned during that search was that every religious belief system that I took part in had core kernels of truth. There were no essential differences between Hindus, Buddhists, Christians. East and West all held the same human values. When I came back to Judaism and began to study what the real values of Judaism were founded in, in Torah and in our prayer book, I came back to my own people. When I became a mother, I made a commitment to be a Jew. And I returned to school to study to be a Chazan. That, those many years of intensive text study excited me with realizations that Judaism was built, really built, upon a system of ethics that what mattered to Jews even more than how they believed in God was in how they treated other human beings, was in how indeed they were commanded by God to treat not only other Jews, but how to treat the stranger in their midst. In fact, I learned that the paradigm of Judaism, I learned this in my liturgy class, that the paradigm of Judaism is the command which is repeated in Torah more often than any other command, to treat the, the stranger within your midst as one of your own, for remember, you were a stranger in Egypt, and I, the Lord of your God, took you out of Egypt to be your God. And you shall be holy as I, your God, shall be holy. I understand that command to be holy, to be connected to that remonstrance, to remember that we were strangers. And so to me, the core value, the highest core value of Judaism is to recognize in every human being, but Selim Elohim, that God is within them and that every human being on this planet deserves every human right that we ourselves have reached for in our lives. And if we are to truly have a Jewish state of Israel that embodies those core values, then we must recognize that every inhabitant of the land of Israel and the land of Palestine must have all of those rights equally.